Sophie tries varied techniques to get the giraffe she wants more than anything in this playfully illustrated story about the nuance of negotiations. Sophie has one true desire for her birthday, but she has four big problems in the way. Mom, Dad, Uncle Conrad, and Grandmama. Will her presentations, proposals, and pie charts convince them otherwise? Turns out all it takes is one word. Do you know what that word is? Well, we'll have to read it to find out. One word from Sophie by Jim Averbeck and Yasmin Ishmael. Sophie's birthday was coming up and she had five things on her mind. One true desire and four problems. Her one true desire was to get a pet giraffe for her birthday. The four problems were mother who was a judge, father who was a businessman, Uncle Conrad who was a politician, and Grandmama who was very strict. Sophie presented her case to her mother. I would like a giraffe, she said, because they burn less gasoline, so they meet federal regulations better than the cars we use now. In the last 50 years, no giraffes have been recalled for defective parts, and newer models have a particularly strong safety record. Also, giraffes have not been shown to be the cause of any major diseases. Giraffes are legal in all 50 states. And a giraffe could take me to ballet class and deliver me right to the second floor. Her argument was accompanied by a compelling slideshow that included a map of the walk to class. I'm sorry, said mother in her decision, but I will have to rule against a giraffe at this time. You provided no proof that you are ready for pet ownership and failed to cite any laws about minors driving quadrupeds. And your argument was too verbose. Verbose? asked Sobe. What's that mean? Too many words, said Mother. How many words should I use? Fewer, said Mother, and she retired to her chambers. So Sophie used fewer words with her father. Giraffes, said Sophie, are a good source of manure, which can be sold at a profit to garden centers and activists. In short, people will pay me for poop. Her proposal was accompanied by a compelling graph showing how much money she would make. I'm sorry, said Father, but your business plan is unsound. You failed to count the cost of care and feeding for your manure producer, not to mention the warehousing of poop. And your presentation was far too effusive. Effusive? asked Sophie. What's that mean? Too many words, said Father. How many should I use? Fewer, 
said Father, and he got back to his conference call. Sophie pulled the other members of the household. Four out of five respondents are in favor of giraffes, she said. The results were accompanied by a compelling pie chart. I'm sorry, said Uncle Conrad, but your results indicate that being in favor of giraffe ownership would cost me support from the Pony American community. And besides, your report was far too loquacious. Sophie didn't even need to ask. Finally, she approached Grandmama. She accompanied her plea with a compelling foot rub. Giraffes, no, said Grandmama, and do try to get to the point next time. In a last desperate attempt before her birthday, Sophie prepared to speak to everyone at once. She revised and shortened her proposition until it was just one word. The proposal was accompanied by a particularly compelling pair of eyes. On her birthday, Sophia was delighted to find that short and sweet often brings results. One word really worked, she said, and two words came in handy as well. Thank you, everyone! Glossary, effusive, using too many words. Loquacious, using too many words. Verbose, using too many words. Did you ever think there'd be so many words for using too many words? Activist, someone who takes action to support a cause. Quadruped, a four-footed animal. Respondents, people or stuffed animals who answer a question. Revive, to rewrite something in hopes of making it better. Warehousing, storage. Hello friends, did you figure out what the one word is yet? Please, that's the magic word. I hope you enjoyed our story today, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel, Storytime with Lorelai. I can be found on Twitter and Instagram, too. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.